I'm motivated by the desire to show people things that are important to me. I define art as making the invisible visible in a beautiful way. So all my work is never constructed. I'm simply showing things out there which people have never really seen before. Head On has made me realise that I actually have an inner artistic voice that people want to hear. And I say that because I've, I've sold quite a few images directly as a consequence of Head On. And before my first exhibition last year, I had no idea whether my voice had any relevance to anyone other than myself. And Head On's taught me that it has. I work under the assumption that everything has been photographed under the sun using conventional technology. So the only way to advance photography is by exploiting um, cutting edge technology. So for example, all my work is generally shot at about 10,000 ASA. So that's how I reveal my inner voice by exploiting technology. Why do you like the Head On Photo Festival? I think prior to Head On, I was generally quite bitter about mainstream photography exhibitions. If I went to a big name um, exhibition, I would look at the work and think that it might be relevant to an American audience, but it had no relevance to me. The exhibition seemed to be uh, by photographers who were very good at marketing, who didn't necessarily have ideas. And what I've really appreciated from head on is that the image is primary, the photographer is secondary. And head on by focusing on the images rather than marketing, the photographer has really restored my faith in photography generally. I've been incredibly grateful to head on because I've very much worked as a solo operator. I wasn't really aware that there were other photographers out there and, I, and if there were, I really didn't know how to get in contact with them. I also didn't have any real appreciation of the importance of curating um, photography shows. And Head On has introduced me to people such as Hasib Zachariah, who have been incredibly um, generous with their time and their knowledge and making me learn that there is so much more to, photog to a photography exhibition than simply pinning um, images to a wall. The way I understand it, there's very much a, a hierarchy um, a, a, with the traditional sort of um, exhibiting spaces. And they simply won't touch a photographer if they haven't sort of progressed up the pecking order. And they won't even be kind to them, which quite frankly astonishes me. What I like about Head On is that it opens the doors for all photographers. There's no real interest in who you are. It's far more what your work is about. And that's, it is so encouraging for me as a photographer. The main, what I'm really, really interested in is photographing my local environment. I'm quite disappointed that so many Australian photographers show a lot of interest in rushing off to Asia and India, but they don't actually seem to be making any statements or expressing any views on their own, own backyard. And so I'm very much interested in photographing my local environment. My last project was done uh, 200 metres away from my home my project this year was done you know, a kilometre away from my home. I think we need to embrace our own backyards, our own local environments, and show to people that they do matter, that they are of interest, rather than you know, hopping on a plane and going to Asia. Uh, Werner Bischoff is probably my greatest hero. He taught me that photography is more than just a series of perfect notes but it's actually a language if it's um, well enough executed. Then I like people like Eva, Eve Arnold for her compassion. Um, I wish Norel Audio um,
would do more. I'm sort of slightly confused because I've realised that there really isn't much of a lineage in Australian photography. There's no real passing of the baton. Max Dupain, and he passed the baton to David Moore. And since then, the, the baton seems to have fallen by the wayside. And I'm really curious as to why that's the case. Mm. And we've had amazing luminaries like Trent Park, but again, he's bunkered down. And so I find it confusing that given how much interest there is in photography, why we don't really have any role models um, to follow.